Is that Dr. Romano? Where is he now? It's his lecture hall. Dr. Romano, is that you? Yes, it is. Dr. Romano, what are you doing? I'm writing up an, ex an exam question for my Dr. Stoya group. Really? Wow, this is a cool lecture hall. Oh. I'm down here. I think I'm going to go uh, do a little boating today. What do you think? I think we should take a look at this question, and I'm going to give you the answer for it. So why don't you take a look here? Golly, never a break. The question was, um, if you had methane, how many total orbitals would you have? This is a hard question. This is methane, as you all know. CH4 is methane. So all you would do is count. Two, four, six, eight. There's eight valence electrons. If there's eight valence electrons, and if you remember, each orbital contains two electrons. So that means that we're going to have four needed molecular orbitals. But hold on a second. Whenever you have a molecular orbital, you have an anti-bonding molecular orbital. So as you can see, we're going to end up having four bonding molecular orbitals and four anti-bonding molecular orbitals. So therefore, we get a total of eight total orbitals. That's a tricky problem, but that's what we call overkill, and therefore, we're going to think 30. Our overkill equals 30, and I can't wait till we overkill this data beast. All right, good day to you. One more question, Dr. Romano. If I know how to do that, will I get a 30? No, you need to know a lot more than that, but you'll be on your way. Good day to you. Dr. Romano, I just got your 2018 book. Well, you're going to need the 2018. It's going to reflect all the changes that the new dad has made. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir. Bye.